Okay, today we're going to do the installation of the GC1140 ceiling inlet. And uh, one of the first things that we do, or you want to do, is to pull this top lid off. And you just take these things off, the lid will come off. Um, what I usually do is I take the screws, and there's little dimples in here where the screws go. I usually just take and start them. It's a lot easier if you're not trying to hold the screw while you're holding the inlet up. Okay, now that we've got these screws all started in there, you need to make sure that you have your framed opening in the ceiling, and you can look at either on the website or in the instructions, it gives you what that opening should be, and your attic sleeve needs to be up in the hole, your insulation stops. So now we're ready, we're gonna go ahead and attach this to the ceiling. You just center it over your hole, basically. Okay, now that we've got our, our inlet screwed to the ceiling, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. It's lined up with these pegs. You just go ahead and use these clips here to fasten it on. Okay, now that we've got the lid put back on, so we're going to go ahead and put this weight arm on. And this weight arm has multiple holes there where you can adjust it, try it different weights. You, you'll just have to usually start in the middle unless you know where you want it, but I mean it opens the different static pressures depending on the weight installation. But once you got your weight screwed to the arm, basically you shut the inlet and this arm just slides over this, this arm up here, just slide on until it snaps on. Now the inlet is, is set up and ready to go for, to open off static pressure. Okay, now if you want to actually lock this inlet shut with a pull arm, we've got the, or the pull string, we've got the pull string here. You can actually take your string Run it through this hole and just go ahead and just tie it to your pull cable here. I'm going to pull this tight, pull this fairly tight. Okay, now the inlet will, will stay locked shut. So if you don't want that inlet to function, it'll stay shut. And if you want it to open, you just move your cable. And now this will allow the inlet to open. Now the inlet can open on its own and you can, if you want it to function.